let's begin. Uh, and let's begin with. Well, uh, so we're carrying on, right? Most of you are still caught in a valley somewhere, breathing hallucinatory gas of some kind. Um, which is too bad for you, because you will not be allowed to make the downtime move. Yay! Damn, I don't get to make more enemies. <laughs> right? Uh, well, okay, well, for some people, the downtime move is a good thing. <laughs> some people bother having houses, but... Ray, uh, Ruriath, yeah. you did make it back to town. <laughs> you went on a bit of a frightening romp yourself. Yeah. Um, harried by hallucinatory snakes and, and such, but... We don't know how long they were left down there in that chasm before you're going to make your grand return. Couldn't I just return instantly? Or, like, the next oh, time? Or... You can... I mean, yeah, you can. If you just decided you went straight back, you can eschew the downtime move if you'd like. Yeah, I, I mean, I think... I don't think I would have just... Because his intention was... Especially after realizing, oh, hey, it's not real. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> All right, I just go back. I mean, what else... Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess so. I was going to try and make something, but that'll, that would take, like, what, a day or two? That would all be part of doing a downtime move. Yeah, yeah okay, so th that's weeks ahead. If there's a downtime move? That doesn't necessarily mean weeks. My okay. question to you, Uriath, is once you realize that you're under a hallucinatory effect, <laughs> that you have... <clears throat> mistakenly abandon your friends <laughs> also friends um do you return immediately to their aid like the shining hero that you are with topaz colored hair or do you maybe prepare yourself to bear their bodies back home to proper graves <laughs> <laughs> no I, I think I'll just I'll just return immediately I'll let magic sort me out all right, so that means no downtime move, which is fine. You're fine. Hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, how do we want to do this? Do what, Justin? Save the day. Well, we'll talk about Coriolis. Coriolis. We'll talk about Ruriath's brave return in a moment. <laughs> um, but first, I want to get back with the crew stuck in the cavern chasm. Okay. So, you guys are down in this chasm, and you all sort of come to breathing heavily. You know, your lungs sort of stinging with whatever it is you're breathing in, and you kind of realize you've been imagining all of this. There's something wrong. And you're just sort of in a cave somewhere, and it's, it smells sort of, I don't know, like the gas, gasish, you know, sort of a, sort of a sulfuric smell, I guess. Too much Taco Bell? Yeah. <clears throat> so here's how we're going to do the chasm. Um, roll me... Okay, roll me a D6, Alstry. I'm sorry, guys. Two. Okay. And then... We're going to have you guys describe the dungeon as we go along. I've kind of got a little funky thing to do that with. <laughs> okay. Um... And it's going to be fun, and you have to agree with me. Yay! <laughs> fun times for all. Um, but how it's going to work is basically I'm going to give you room descriptions and then environment tags, and you guys are going to kind of describe this scenario that you're in in these different areas. <clears throat> this is just a chasm, right? It's not like blocked off rooms. And then we'll see what happens from there. Okay. Okay, cool. Um... So, Raylan, roll a, uh, well, we'll just start at the start. So, Raylan's going to 
help describe the room. So there's something old in here. You're in kind of an area. You can see a passage, two passageways. One kind of goes to the north. One goes to the southwest. Uh, and well, there's three passages. Um, yeah. And one goes to the southeast. Um. There is a pool of water. And that pool of water, there's there's water trickling down from the chasm down into this place and spilling on this lip and filling up this little pool, this little brackish sort of pool down there. You're not really sure how deep it is. You can figure that out if you want. Uh, so the southeast passage is sort of a lip that you would have to climb up. It's not super tall. It's not like, you know, 50 feet and ha ha ha, roll a dice to see if you die. <laughs> but it is it is a barrier if it was a tense situation, like you're trying to escape, I don't know, murderous acid spitting snakes. Um, so Raylan, there's something old in here. These are ruins. Things were left here. And that's generally the environment. The three passages, north, southwest, southeast, there's a pool, the lip, and water. You can paint whatever else you want on there. Um, okay. <clears throat> All right. So. Just describe the an object. An object. Okay. It's um. It's a sarcophagus. It's like a seven foot tall sarcophagus. You know, just made of stone with the crude. A very crude um, chiseling of what might be a man, but it's like weathered. It's old. You can't really make out the detail too, too accurately. Is it? Is it made of stone? Yeah, it's like solid stone. And is it hanging open, or is it still shut? It's, um, it's shut. Yeah, it's shut, like, laying, you know, laying down shut. Um, maybe, yeah, no, I don't know how big the pool is, so I'm not going to say it's in the pool, like, or anything. But, no, it's, like, yeah, it's it's laying down shut, just, you know, whatever. And maybe the center of this little area. Okay. So you all come to realizing that you're now <clears throat> more or less lucid and you all see this sarcophagus. Now, Chuck. Yeah. Um, I need you to describe the environment around us. And I have two environment tags. Okay. So I need you to describe the environment and something is rocky. And I need you to describe the environment and something is high. Rocky and high. <laughs> Sorry, that was inappropriate. <laughs> hmm. I think there was like there's like rubble, like like not building rubble, but like just big rocks and stuff. Like there was a, a, a like a collapsed ceiling or something or a wall that fell in. Um. <clears throat> and there's just you know boulders down to pebbles all over in you know one one corner of the room uh high something is high so what is in the corner of the room is it like in front of one of the passages <clears throat> yeah that sounds like a good idea which which <laughs> passage is the north Let's... passage southwest and the southeast that is the, like the, sort of the mini waterfall yeah. Uh, how about the the one to the north? Let's see. Something, Something high up. Huh. So we got the sarcophagus, and. think I don't know this is tricky how about <clears throat> no I don't like that 
Do you have an idea? <laughs> yeah. For what's up high? Yeah, something up high. It's a Fomorian cave. Um. I mean, you're jumping to conclusions, but sure. Well, it's, it's <laughs> below a Fomorian temple, so. Still jumping to conclusions, but okay. <laughs> Just tell me what's up high. <laughs> this entire session is fucking clickbait. Um, <laughs> up high, there's a, a sign, little... and it says Fomorian Caves. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. The sarcophagus for candy. <laughs> Some things you didn't know about Fomorians. Make sure to stop at our gift shop. <laughs> there is a ledge up high that seems to have a little opening, like another cave through there. Maybe? That sounds good. Okay. Cool. I'm not climbing that. <laughs> and of course, that's where the bats come out. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah, you guys are sitting there panting. You're sweating. Um, you didn't have any of the damage you had before, all that stuff. What do you do? <clears throat> uh, you know, I guess I take the time to, to look around and, and view all of this and just. Um, you know, probably trembling a bit, just looking around, like looking for. Rory Ath, and he's not here, of course, so just getting you know, angrier and angrier. But I do want something magic, and I'm probably going to open that sarcophagus uh, and probably kill myself. So Before you do that. Yeah. Before you do that. Hey, Justin? Yeah. Um, so Blessed requires that I use another move. Does that also include my spells? Yeah, any move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I use uh, my light cantrip with Blessed? And if I do well, I want to use my racial move as well. And what is your racial move? I'm going to copy it into the thing. When you choose Blessed options, your deity will show you one of the following. A way underground. We're already there. Don't do that one. A way out from underground. <laughs> or if there is treasure nearby. <clears throat> And you were casting which spell? Light. On a stick I pull out of my bag. It's, it's I, a torch? <laughs> <laughs> Last time I tried to grab something at random, it turned out to be a rat tail, so I just pull things out of my bag at this point. <laughs> I mean, what, what's the nature of this stick? I mean, you're, you're using adventuring gear. I, I, would, I would think a torch. Okay. You're, just gonna, you're gonna make it glow with magic. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't burn up the torch. I just want to use my racial move. Like that's the entire point of me doing this. All right. So roll to. So oh wait, we got to choose our options first. Um, <clears throat> so you choose a number equal to your wisdom. Two. Yep. Or you, don't have, you don't have to choose both, but you know. Yeah, you up to you don't. Have um, it is how your deity's domain manifests itself on earth, what your deity asks for in return, which one of your deity's boons is granted to you now, or why your deity has taken an interest in this affair. Because there's obviously stuff to learn down at the bottom. Why has your deity taken an interest? And how your deity's domain manifests itself on earth? White fire. On the torch. <laughs> <clears throat> it's like fire, but magic. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's roll your spell. At least it's not blue. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hey, I already hate the today. Gods. I fine. already hate today. So the GM chooses one statement to be false, and the others are true. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't screw myself too bad on those two questions. But there is no great. Uh, there are secrets to be gained down here. Yeah. That's true. So. So I guess I don't get my white fire then. You do, but not on your torch. Oh, yay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. A 
away from uh. underground, a way out from underground, or if there is treasure nearby. Like, being lit on fire is a side effect of working with Austri. I don't know if I mentioned that before or not. <laughs> Signed the contract. <laughs> How you have to deal with it. I've killed a couple of bards. It was bad. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Definitely is a treasure nearby. Yay. See, I'm helping you. Yeah. You might be the one I light on fire. I apologize. That's right. If you, it's okay. Just make sure that this evens out by end of session, and I won't have to hate you. <laughs> it happens a lot more often than I'd care to admit. It's fine. Just remember, I kind of did help save your life, you know. Just putting it out there. This, this is not on me. This is on Spartan. Apparently, yeah. you offended him in some fashion. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Assuming you're the one who's lit on fire, in which oh, no, case you're the one risking the anger of the gods when you make that roll. So I think maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we've all angered the gods. In one or another. Mm -hmm. um, I live like as a times constant embarrassment to my cult. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're you you do your white fire, but it doesn't appear on your torch. It appears kind of in front of you, and it goes floating. Across the space, um, yeah, it goes floating up <laughs> and stops in front of that ledge up there. You can see your your white fire just glowing there. This sort of like you know bowling ball sized ball of flame that's illuminating the space up there, but you can't see inside the cave right now. Have you all watched Assault on Arkham? Nope. No. Of course not. There's a scene where Killer Croc just screams at people, No heights! That's Alstrom <laughs> right now. <laughs> okay. Alright, well, so I mean, I'll, I'll watch your magic trick and just, like... <laughs> and I look back at you, shut up. <laughs> uh, Justin, what does white godfire smell like? <laughs> white godfire? Nothing. That's what it smells like. Like, does it smell like nothingness, or does it just not have a smell? It has no scent. Oh, okay. It off no heat. Well, that's cool. Is that the way we're supposed to go, then? Up there, all the way up there. Apparently. Good, wonderful. I'm glad our wizard isn't here. Anyway, I... I point at the Scrafis. Want to open that? You, and I point at Chuck, because you're the big one. <laughs> You're gonna help me. Well, oh, y'all, you know, it sounds like a good idea to me. I'm gonna pick up some shit and put it down. Pick up some shit, put it down. <laughs> Wonderful. Come on, come. Like you do. Can I, can I start climbing a wall to get as far from that sarcophagus as humanly possible? No heights. No heights, but I'll do it to get away from death. <laughs> come on, don't be a coward. Death or cake? I choose you cake. Have, you have God on your side, right? You have. <laughs> Strong God. <laughs> God has not been pleased with me lately. I don't know what I did, and I'm not risking it. You don't say this. <laughs> I know a God that would love you. You know what is a demon, not a God? You proved <laughs> me otherwise. If it was any other day, I would. <laughs> right now, I have to focus. <laughs> <laughs> this, this feels like a game of Pop Goes the Weasel. <laughs> <laughs> I'll convert you. By game end. All right, let's go. Uh, yeah, I, if Chuck accompanies me, if not, yeah. I don't care. I'm gonna open the sarcophagus. Okay. Uh, yeah, you put your hands on the sarcophagus and slide it open. Scrapes and uh, dust and rocks and uh, little uh, grinds the side of it and uh, comes spilling off as you push it over and it sort of you know flops open. <clears throat> and inside, um, it looks like there was a humanoid body buried in it, um, or entombed in it. The rest of the body has completely decomposed uh, into basically dust. And except for the skull, the skull looks brand new. Um... 
and when you push the thing open, um, it starts talking to you. Oh, good. It's sort of lying back on this thing, and its and its mouth, the head of the skull, sort of just like, you know, leans over towards you, and it it's starts like, saying, uh, "You're going the wrong way, you know." It's like Shadowgate. All right, I'm d- I'm in. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. I say, uh, it kind of just kind of pins. And how would you know? You've been in a box for how long? Long enough to know you're going the wrong way. Which way should we be going? There. What I kind of someone up there died? You know. Oh. Never came back. Did you go up there? Is that why you're dead? No. Oh. I died an old man because I didn't go up there. You sound like a smart man. So where should we be going? Not sure. Maybe you should use a spell. I'm going to be getting treasure by myself. Do you know any magic? Uh, well, that one does. I point at like, the dwarf I guess trying to scale a wall. Yep. <laughs> and she's like that... two feet off the floor at this point. <laughs> that one does, but that one pointed us up there. Oh. You don't know any magic of your own? No, no. I know a god who does, but he kind of wants stuff if I do that, so... No. And you should just kill yourself. <laughs> that would be faster. It, it would be faster, but I tend to kill other people. I don't kill myself. Although that would be quite the fight. <laughs> you don't want it growing up there. Trust me. Don't hmm. trust the talking skull. I work with them. They're lying shitbags. Do you have a name? Skull men. I've forgotten it. Pathogrigus. Sorry. I'm not gonna name him Pokemon. Thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you wait and see. It's, all right. Just uh, you don't know your own name. Perfect. Do you want to live in this box, or do you want to like come with me? I'm not alive. Do you want to die in this box, or do you want to come with me? <laughs> I'm already dead. <laughs> you don't. I'm taking. How this I, works. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead, so you can't object. <laughs> so you pick the skull up out of the box? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Alstree, you're climbing up this cliff? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I will risk gravity before I risk that coffin. This thing is great. <laughs> Good thing. Uh, let's defy danger with your strength. But yeah. Does the skull have weight, Justin? No. Okay. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> of course it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, it has as much weight as Raylan wants it to have. Okay, it weighs <laughs> one. <then. laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> um, so, Austri, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, you go climbing up. I don't know. Uh, do you want something bad to happen to you or to Chuck? <laughs> <laughs> It's Chuck. I want you to know that I love and respect you for the orc that you are, but make a rock fall on him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're going crawling up this thing, this side of cliff, and uh, and you're just about to the top when you like put your hand over the top and start pulling yourself up, and a big chunk of it comes loose and goes tumbling. And you almost lose your grip, but you, like, hang on with one hand as you look down. Shit! And this... <laughs> <laughs> you, like, wait just long enough. Watch out! <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's um, like I'm yeah, this... Chuck, this rock comes ca- falling down, and it, like, hits against the wall uh, a couple of times and breaks apart. And there's just sort of these two or three big boulders coming down on top of you. What do you do? Uh, <laughs> yep. I 
let's Pretty see. Accurate. What can I do? Duck and dodge. What? What? No, I want to do something more Chuck-like. <laughs> I got an idea. <clears throat> All right, so I got this. I got this stick in my hands, right? I want to just kind of oh, yo, get on my way and just kind of swing around and like <laughs> knock the rocks out of the way as they fall. You know what I mean? Uh, Not the stick. Yeah. Not the stick. Uh, <laughs> get out of my way. <laughs> oh my god. Damn it. <laughs> Farewell, magic item. <clears throat> So you're trying to use it like a bat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, defy danger with your strength. They roofed that bitch. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, I won't cheer for you in the future. Oh. I tried to be helpful, it backfired. No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> to, like, smack this thing, and uh, when you do, you've done... You un inadvertently somehow summon the magic in it, <laughs> just as the rock hits the thing, and it backfires, right? Yeah. Um, and yeah, the the staff explodes in your hand. Son of a bitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> and yeah, it goes, uh, knocks you backward. Now, you don't get hurt by the rock, but instead you get uh, blasted by some magic missile. Ooh. Um... So, roll a 2d4. It's not that bad. <laughs> I told you. I'll take it. <laughs> Three damage. Does that ignore armor? Um, it does not. Oh, cool. But I know I could do magic shit and fucking magic <laughs> missiles smell like shit. <laughs> and you're kind of holding the two ends of this staff in your hand now. And it's not glowing anymore. Um... Obviously. And it's smoking, basically. Uh, <laughs> yes. So you're, you're hanging by one hand from the top. You just you pull yourself up onto this cliff. Um, there used to be something up here, but what is it? Bad monsters, come on. <laughs> um, there is a puppy named Jojo. <gasps> no, it's definitely not a puppy. A, Jojo. a bunny. It's a cute little fluffy, non dangerous, non homicidal bunny. That does not exist. Oh. There <laughs> <laughs> uh, is ep epitaph. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. It's like this stone slab. Um. Resting on this, uh... Was it stone? No, it's a bronze slab. There's like a stone uh, structure low to the ground, right? And sort of angled where this bronze slab is resting on it. Can I read the slab? Uh, it is of no known, of no language you know. You could, well, why don't you spell it, Lord? Um, intelligence? <clears throat> That's right. Nice. Um, you don't speak the language, you don't know what it says. <laughs> <laughs> Similar <laughs> How is it that you've ever come across Fomorian a Fomorian language? 
Well, back when I used to study at the uh, at the temple, they had books from as many cultures as we could find, and they managed to have one singular book on basic Fomorian words. So you could at least understand if they were insulting you. That you may burn them. Yes. Yeah, it is similar to that <laughs> language. That you yes! <laughs> what can you make out? 